Please welcome Amy Tangerine. Amy, thank you for joining us. I mean, first of all, I love the title of the book because it really is, I, I've been thinking a lot about this show and just why people love crafting and scrapbooking so much. It can bring us this sense of calm. Exactly, it is therapeutic, right? We enjoy the process of creating and then sharing what we've made. I know, and I, you have a lot of pictures because one of the problems I have these days is what to do with all of the photos of my kid. This is just some of them. I'm gonna just start giving them out as party favors because I don't know what to do with them anymore. And you have some great ideas behind this, but what really inspired you to dig into crafting? Was it something in your life? Yeah, I think making memories is something that's always been true to my heart. We all have stories to tell, and we have creative ways of showing how we get to live, right? And we want to shine our brightest in the ways that we can. My dad has Alzheimer's and dementia, and so I think it's really important for people to preserve their memories yeah. in a way that's true to your heart. I love it. Okay, so we've got our, our paper, the watercolor. That's your thing. Yes, yeah, so this is my travel set of watercolors. You travel you with can, your stuff? I do. I Well, this is your business. What am I asking? I do this on the plane. What do you <laughs> okay. think I was doing I yesterday? You do this on the plane? I Absolutely. love that. It's like crocheting. You know, you see the people who crochet. I want to carry around it's watercolor. It's an enjoyable process. So okay. all you do is dip your paintbrush in some water, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do a little sun because we need some more brightness in this world, yeah, I yeah. think. <laughs> so this is also, there's no right or wrong, because I'll admit, I'm not oh. very artistic. Okay, before you go any further, I believe everybody is creative. Really? Yes. Okay, well you said creative, <laughs> not an artist, which I caught that. Well, okay, I, I am creative. Artistic. Think about when okay. you were younger and you got a hold of watercolors, what did yeah. you do? You just wanted to when put it, color down on the okay. page, right? Okay, so. so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mix it around here, and we're just gonna start off with a simple little semicircle at the top. Okay. And we're gonna create a little sun. And so again, though, there's really no right or wrong way. For there this, is right? no, you know, the main thing is to have fun with the process. Yeah. And it's a way of getting those photos off of our phone. Okay into our hands and documenting in a way that feels good to us. Right, because right, right now this looks Look at like how my- Look that is. Yeah, right now mine looks like my two-year-old's class project. Yeah. <laughs> but, but the point of this is, is that this evolves and it, it turns into this beautiful multimedia experience. I have to tell you, I know oftentimes with uh, TV shows, they say, oh, this is something you can do with the kids. It is, but I like this because you can also do it if you're just by yourself and you want to chill and you, you don't always want the kids around. It's like, these are my watercolors. You do your own thing. Exactly. And yeah. then you they can, can just do set. this and create something special, but you can also do it with them. All right, so I've got yeah, my so son. another thing I'm doing is just adding some more water down on the page and just making a blob or a splotch. A yeah. splotch, okay. And as you're doing it, you can take some deep breaths and think about some things that feel like sunshine to you. Okay. And it seems so silly, but we all have to take moments that we can and pause yeah. and realize that, gosh, we can practice gratitude at any moment. I think this is right? lovely. We have the opportunity to do that. And again, I know this this looks so simple, but it's the simple things right now that I'm really trying to embrace in my life. And just a piece of paper with some watercolor and a glass of wine, that's what I enjoy. Exactly, so I'm, gra you. I'm grabbing the blue that's okay. just below diagonally. Okay. And then I'm adding it to the bottom. And we all know, because we learn in school, when yellow and blue mix, you Makes get green. a little bit of green. Right, yeah. exactly. So you can just, Add a little green down here. I see it mixed together. Okay. And it feels so good to be able to just take a pause mm -hmm. and be mindful of what you're doing because really all we have is the present moment. And I love that you brought up how you're really savoring the little things because yeah. we tend to think that we scrapbook the big events in life, okay. right? But how often do we have these big events? I Most of the time we're just in our day-to-day -day lives being busy and yeah. going through the rhythm of our every day. And you can find beauty in between those moments I too. This. I love this. So you have, we have a dry yeah, version of this, this here. Yeah, let's let this dry. Okay. And then you can choose the photos that you want to scrapbook. Okay. I always recommend just choose whatever speaks to you at the moment. Don't feel guilty about not going back. Right. I have a one-year-old, and guess what? She doesn't have a scrapbook done. And oh. I'm a professional scrapbooker, so it's okay. Okay. You can give yourself grace and space. Well, you just made me feel better, because yes, I don't think I, I have a single so. album with my child. <laughs> but this picture of the group spoke to me the most. So when I see this sun, I see this simplicity, it makes me think of 
this moment. Okay, so we just place them wherever. So you can place them wherever. I tend to like two photos next to each other mm -hmm. because you can take smaller ones or larger ones and play around with the okay. placement. I'm picking this one. This was my husband's birthday over the summer. Um, one of those rare moments, and they're like, oh, that's her husband. Yes, I, he never comes on the show, but this is him. <laughs> this, is, this is the man I'm married to. All right, so then we'll put this one here. Another beautiful thing is that, just as you said, there are no rules when it comes to creating. Yeah. You can lay it out and see how you want to play around with it. Okay. And you don't have to fully commit until you grab this tape runner. Okay. But before you do that, if you want to see how your pictures are going to go and you want to play around with some washi tapes okay. and some stickers and some stamping, you can also lay a foundation on top because layers are in. Layers right? are in. Okay. Yes. I and mean, these are the stamps. These are the stamps. So you just take your acrylic block and just do a dab, dab, dab. I did it. Uh-huh. And then you can just stamp onto your page. I've never done stamps Oh, well, before. you just did great. No, I've seen people who collect them and they do this and I love it and I've always wanted. Well, I think it's a very freeing process if you allow it to be. Okay, Creativity cute. should feel that way. Okay. So then if you see some stickers that appeal to you, right. you can take those as well. I love using washi tape because it's a way of taking something that's already patterned. Oh, okay. You can peel it. I'll try that then. And then what's nice about this is that you can just rip it too. You don't even need scissors. Okay, so just rip this tape. Yeah, you All can right. just rip it and then place it where you feel like. And when you have a sensible base that you like to work with, sure. then you can go ahead and glue your photos down. And okay. I have a little trick. When it comes to gluing your photos down, this is a double stick adhesive mm -hmm. and it works a lot like white out. Instead of doing the whole back, just do a square in the middle. That way, if you wanted to lift up the sides, I'll oh, show you okay. a trick. Yeah, you can you still can lift that it. You, yeah, then oh, that's you can a great pretend tip. that, oh, I layered that and I meant to do it intentionally. Okay. I love that. Okay, so at the end of the day, you have a finished product for us there. I do, and yes. And I have so, some too. You know what? After you use all your stickers and your alphabet stickers and lay that. and lay out down some journaling, right? Your page can look like this. I think this is beautiful. How about longevity? Is there a type of album that you like to use to preserve the longevity of? Yes, thank goodness scrapbook albums now have come a long way. Yes. And we put them into these sleeves, these page protectors, and all the products that you see here are acid free so that they don't warp your memories. Oh the photos are not supposed to fall apart and disintegrate. And these stickers too are acid free so and they're cute. glittery and they're so I fun to use. This. So just I enjoy the process. We're gonna enjoy the process and Amy, thank you again. Amy's book is called Making Memories and everyone in our audience is going home with the copy. But that's not all. To get everyone scrapbooking today, you're also getting Amy Tangerine watercolor set to get in on it.